Hi everyone, and welcome to week eight. You've made it. Yay, we're at midterm. So what do we have going on this week? So week eight information. Um, you've got some good stuff here in your study resources. So the statistics table is going to introduce you to just basically what we're kind of covering for the rest of the semester. So we're really going to start digging into the actual data and really using Minitab. Um, then goes into hypothesis testing refresher, then one proportion hypothesis testing notes, um, and the worksheets. So here's all of the good stuff. There's a lot. It is. Um, it's good stuff, though. So go through it. Make sure you ask if you have questions. Um, but it is, you're going to have to kind of wrap your brain around it. And hopefully it will make sense. So what do we have for assignments? Well, first of all, we've got the discussion eight goal check-in. Um, hopefully this will be a fun one for you because I want you to talk about how you are coming in regards to your goals in the lens of the rational decision maker, instant gratification monkey, uh, the dark playground, and the panic monster, which you will learn more about in this video. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, I then make sure, now these are separate videos, and these are related specifically to doing a one proportion hypothesis testing in Minitab. So over here, this stuff was mostly um, just the general refresher about hypothesis testing and then how to do it by hand. Thankfully, yes, you have to do it by hand here, but then after that, from here on out, we'll do it all in Minitab. So the lecture notes kind of explain once again what you need to be doing, and then the one proportion mini tab example. And so this kind of guides you through step by step how to actually do this test in mini tab. Then after doing that, um, also make sure you note uh, there's the handouts that go with the video, so you want to be filling those out. Then we've got one portion mini tab homework. So remember, there's no time limit, but you only get one attempt, so you can go in and out. Just don't click the submit button. Here's the data that you'll be using, um, and basically it's just the data was collected from, a, uh, from students at a large university. The students were asked their gender uh, and other questions, but for this analysis you'll only be looking at gender. Uh, and then you've got some questions that you have to answer. I strongly suggest doing this before you go to do your Project 2 One Proportion Claims. Why? Because if you do this first, I then give you the answers and so you can check and make sure you kind of understand what you're doing. So that way, when you go to do this part, um, which you're actually going to be using that data uh, that you collected for our project too, and you're going to actually start analyzing it, but you have to come up with your claims. Uh, so make sure you read all of this stuff, make sure you follow the directions, and just make sure if you have any questions, any questions at all, please, please, please let me know. Um, moving forward, we then have the chapter three, quiz two, and this covers the hypothesis testing. So basically this is the hypothesis testing uh, by hand. So this one and this one are using Minitab. This one is by hand. So hopefully doing it by hand will make you appreciate Minitab. So overall, uh, that's it. Uh, there's your assignments for this week. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.